Hello and welcome back to GSC at Home. Today we're going to be talking about tastes. Together we're going to learn about different extreme tastes and do a taste test together. Make sure you have an adult helping you with this to make sure that you're not allergic to any of the foods that we're trying. And to join in, what you're going to need is honey or jam, marmite or another yeast extract, a mild mustard, so a yellow American mustard will do, a chilli sauce, I'm using sweet chilli, but anything that's not too spicy for you would be great, ready salted crisps, lemon juice and lemon rind. It's also a good idea to have a glass of water ready for when you're ready for a new flavour. It's important to know that your tongue can taste five different flavours, sweet, salty, sour, bitter and umami. Your tongue is covered in taste buds that are full of receptors that can send messages to your brain about what different foods taste like. You have similar receptors, just like the ones you can find on your tongue, at the back of your nose that help you smell things. So let's start with lemon juice. Oh, so how does that taste? That is a sour food. It has a sharp feeling in your mouth that makes you scrunch up your face. Oh, this flavour comes from a chemical in the lemon called citric acid. This is useful to the lemon because it stops germs and bugs from growing inside of the lemon. It might taste a bit strong to us, but bugs and germs can't even eat it. Now let's try the lemon peel. So how is that? This is different from the lemon juice. This is a bitter food. And if you squeeze it and look really close, you'll see things spraying out. What's spraying out is lemon oil. These oils help the lemon stop germs and bugs from getting in. And it's also what gives the rind its bitter taste. Next, we're going to try the crisps. Much better, right? These are way easier to eat. This is an example of a salty food. Salt is used in cooking all the time. It can help make things taste sweeter and bring out the flavour in food. It's essential for people to eat salt to stay healthy, but too much can be bad for you. Don't worry, there's plenty in your food already. Let's treat ourselves and try the honey or jam next. So how's that one? This is obviously a sweet flavour. If you watch the Cake in a Cup episode aired on the 28th of May, you'll know a little bit about sugar. It's made by plants and fruit or flowers, often to attract animals. Honey is made by bees collecting nectar because it's incredibly high in energy. It makes for a good food source for a quick boost of energy, but if you eat too much of it, your body will start turning it into fat. So now we have Marmite. This is the strongest flavour that we're going to try, so you definitely don't need much of it at all. So what do you think of that one? This is the fifth flavour, umami. It's a very distinct flavour. It feels like it fills your mouth up. It has a meaty or savoury flavour to it. Umami flavoured foods like marmite can be used as a cooking ingredient. If you add a little bit to your macaroni and cheese, it can make it taste like it was made with very mature or stinky cheese. I'm definitely going to need water after that one. So we've looked at the five flavours. Sour, bitter, salty, sweet and umami. And we've tried them all, but we still have two things left to try. We have our chilli sauce and we have our mustard. So first of all, let's have a taste of our chilli. So I suppose this chilli sauce is actually quite sweet because of how much sugar is in it. But it also has a different taste that doesn't fit in with the five that we've tried. This is spicy. Spice uses a different type of receptor on your tongue. The heat receptors. You have heat receptors all over your body. and They're responsible for telling your brain if it's hot or cold. These heat receptors or thermal receptors on your tongue Tell your brain when you eat spicy food. 
These receptors are letting your brain know that they are feeling physical heat. The reason you go red, sweat and your mouth burns is because it's reacting as if there was a fire in your mouth. So let's try our last food, yellow or American mustard, or a mild mustard of your choice. Be careful with this one as it is a common allergen, so make sure to check that you're allowed to eat it before you do. This one is also spicy. It's using the heat receptors to let your brain know that you've eaten something hot. But this time you'll notice that you'll maybe felt it somewhere else as well. Where did you feel it? I felt it in my nose. This is because the chemical that's causing the spice in mustard is much lighter. This means it can float as a gas from your mouth up into your nose. The heat receptors in your nose pick up the spice chemical as if it was burning inside your nose. Spicy foods have been eaten for thousands of years. Researchers think it might be because it helped kill bacteria in food and stopped people from getting sick. People also use sour, salty and extremely sugary flavors to preserve foods to make them last for a bit longer. And that's where we originally got jams and chummies from. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the flavors that you can taste and finding out about spice. Here's a challenge. When you brush your teeth next with minty toothpaste, try and work out what you're tasting and whether it makes your mouth feel hot or cold. Join us again tomorrow at 10am for more GSE at home.